boss. See, my boss, my boss, ladies, boss. We on boss talk, one on one, one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique House. This is your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, we in Las Vegas, Nevada, man. It's going down, man. Hey, man, listen. We got a young lady that's on here today. Don't need no introduction. She all the way live, man, from the ATL, shawty. Uh, close, just say Georgia. You mm -hmm. know Georgia. Uh, Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Man, what's going on, Jazzy? Hey, what's uh, up? A boss, what is it? Boss lady, what? Boss lady stallion. Ooh, boss the lady stallion. Only. This is the building. Stop playing. Who gave you that name? Ooh. Okay, so when I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. everybody was just calling me. Stallion, so mm -hmm. like I just put the boss lady with it because I'm the boss. Okay, I like that. I like <laughs> that. Give us a little spill on you know, sometimes people need to know, like, what made you uh come out to, to uh Vegas? What, what what brings you out to Vegas this time of year? Um, well, I decided to just come to Vegas to the magic show to just see different, you know, designers and. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's hard. That's hard. Like, like that's why we came. You know what I'm saying? So last time we was here together, me, you, my wife, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that rocked with us, you were so phenomenal because you were working like, I was I was telling you about that. I was like, mm -hmm. man, she passing out cards, she doing stuff, she taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? She really into this. Like, you bring people out here for years. I brought people out here, try to show them the game, and nobody. And I'm serious. I'm not just telling you this. Nobody engaged like you did, and that's something that's big. Cause I've been coming out here since 07, 08, 09, and I brought a lot of people out here. I paid for a lot of people to be here too. And nobody was engaging like you. You was like, here are my my cards and everything. What you were taking yeah. pictures and all. I remember for that, bro. For a person bro. who is shy, and for right. a person who is just, shy. but she's serious about her business. She's serious about her business. Yes, that stuck out to me. I'm not playing. I was very impressed. And that that is real as it get. And that's why I, I right then I formed a a different type of respect for you. On when it come to business, I said she really, really cares about her business, and that's hard. And so let's just talk about it. Like, what gives you the drive and motivation to keep going after all these years? All right. Okay. So I've been having my business for like six years. So like, just selling clothes and just want the ladies to look good. But I'm gonna also come out with a men clothes soon. Oh, oh, you want to rock with the men clothes? I want to rock with the men clothes. It's easier anyway. You should. Right. You talking okay. about um, you did the clothes because you just you like to look good. You like when the ladies look good, but I bet you anything because you like to shop. Yeah, I so like to I shop bet too. you do, you started the clothing business because you like to shop. So might as well just have your own right, stuff. Right, I just sat I sat down with my parents and I was like, I'm just going ahead and start selling clothes. So back home, I got my own little store for like two or three years, and then I decided to move to Atlanta, got a store there, and I just been doing it ever since. You ever thought yeah. about doing like a resale shop too? Because the the way how y'all go through y'all clothes, y'all only wear it like one time and then right. get rid of it. So you might want to just do a resale shop for the people who can't afford certain things, right? And put those clothes in there and just go ahead and sell it back to other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about that too. Cause I'm like me, I don't like wearing the same clothes over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just throw it in the closet, find something yeah, else to well, put on. And just once go. you, once you, once you wear it on IG and uh, YouTube, right, social, it's, right. a, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. But there's other people out here who can't afford certain and things me that will be I love willing to, take to buy. Pictures and everything. Yeah, so it's like yeah. I can't mm -hmm. even put that on because they gonna make sure they look. Oh, she got you know. You already know how the social media. Is. That's right. hard, man. <laughs> so, so I mean, you, you, and you up here in Vegas. You, I mean, you, you, I mean, what you, you out there shooting them dice or? You know what I'm saying? You are you a gambler or are you? I'm definitely not a gambler, <laughs> but I would definitely try. <laughs> Look, my hand be itching. Oh, 
That's the good luck. That's the good luck charm know, right there. Right. Man. You gotta pay lottery and everything right. else. You don't know where it's gonna come from. It might come. You never know. You know, and I gotta ask you this, and I, I hate to ask you on, you know, on Boss Talk 101, but, you know, being a beautiful <laughs> young lady, you know what I'm saying? Go. Every time I see you got your makeup popping, I mean, you know, you built like, a, a, you know, your, your body banging. Like, 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 what is it that, what, I mean, is you single or what? Ooh, so we're going to in the relationship. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm definitely single. Wow. So single and ready to mingle. Single oh, ready and in Vegas, you better not get out and get sucked I, up. I definitely ain't trying to single <laughs> me. <neither. laughs> but you never know. <laughs> So I mean, just really but like. Why are you single? Because uh, is it that men I are mean, intimidated by you? They definitely intimidated. Yeah, because a beautiful yeah. woman. It's hard. She don't drink. She don't smoke. She got her head on her got shoulders. Got her own business. Got her own business. And the thing is, some men cannot take that. I be I be thinking to myself like, I just don't understand. I don't know what they want. <laughs> but what is it that you want in a man? I, I need a good man. A good, Me personally, I just feel like. I need somebody that's on my level. Like, ain't nothing wrong with regular, but I need somebody on my level. What is your level? I just feel like he got to have, like, stuff going on, a good job. And I don't even discriminate. Like, he he can have a nine to five, because, you know, some women like, oh, I don't want nobody to a regular dude. You're not for the years being no regular dude either, so go on with that. I ain't going to lie, bro. A nine to five, but still have his, you know, businesses yeah. on the side. Period. Okay. So he I ain't no wrong with it. I didn't say that. I ain't no wrong with that. I will talk to somebody regular, but he definitely gotta have his stuff on. Yeah. His, he gotta. He gotta. He gotta have the entrepreneur. He gotta bring it. He gotta bring it. Yes. Yeah, period. I just don't see. Cause it. I ain't regular. I ain't seeing it. <laughs> nigga got this club, nigga got this money, got this bankroll. But it ain't all about that though. Yeah, y'all say that, but that's not real. You, you but that's what I attract, though. I ain't gonna lie. It's it, I don't I don't be knowing what I be so laid back. Next thing you know, it be a million guys like all different types, like not even regular, like top, not like I be surprised. I see. I see. So so would, would it be uh, cool to say that it's a lot of blue chicks in that inbox? It's definitely a lot of blue mm-hmm. chicks. If I was one of them types, all them, mm, but I ain't like that now. I'm so chill. <laughs> And they tell me, like, you so chill, like, you cool, you ain't with the BS, you ain't like the other chicks. I already know that. So, because I ain't here for clout. Like, most of them girls be for clout. They wanna just, oh, I talked to someone, so it ain't even nothing like that. Okay. I'm so chill. That's why they still, like, it be like years, like, I can be mm-hmm. cool with them. And then it on a whole nother level. But would you? But are you looking for um, someone to settle down with? Someone to I spend the rest of the I need a girl in my life, life. I need <laughs> Period. <laughs> um, definitely. Yeah, it's about that time. I'm 31. It's definitely time to settle down. Man, you beautiful. 31. I'm 31. It's time to settle down. And, and for these gentlemen who watching and and Kid, wishing that they would be. This. Hold on, I'm asking. So, what is it that you have to offer other than? Y- you don't smoke. You're an entrepreneur. What is it that you have to offer that perfect man? I'm I'm definitely a backbone. And, at and the end of that, I I just mm. want to say what I want to do. If I want to get some people, I'm gonna be caught doing a virtual. I'm gonna put your picture up and say, I need some guys that really we're gonna pick guys. I, look, now we're gonna pick guys who look, would like to go out with boss look, ladies. Let me tell you what, what? That's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about doing a show like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have my own show yeah, and let the biz come over there. Yeah, and go dates. Yeah, and see so we it, we gonna see. the best man win. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna narrow it down. We're gonna get through all the mess. I was gonna do it. I was gonna put a show up. So we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna shop jazz and man boss ladies gonna get a whole date out this day, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We and got, y'all better come right. They, they, they gotta come, come right. right. They, come, they, gonna get, they gonna get sent to the left, cause they, baby, I, mm, they better come right. They better. So know what, what they is doing. the requirements? Right. They just gotta be on point. Like you okay, know, tall, short, um, it big, small. One thing about it, I attract short men, but I really like tall. But I don't discriminate. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it ain't all about the looks. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you take a book of wolf, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> if he treat me right, you never know. 
You never know. I never get on that on the episode know. of Martin. Uh, Pam couldn't find a man. She ended up going out with old Roman Rome. You know what I'm talking about? Never she know. She couldn't find no man. Roman, you They like, always oh, say, oh, they always say, oh, oh, oh. the ones you don't like be the ones that going to treat you right. Hey, that's, that's, that's real. That's true. They always say that's that. That's real. So you never know. So you basically saying that this guy, as long as he has a, a, a good head on his shoulder, and, and you know what I mean? And he a good man. And uh, that nigga owned two or three restaurants, a couple of clubs. Uh, yeah, then that nigga, yeah, he can, yeah, you a holler at him. <laughs> he, he better have something going on. <laughs> so what is, the, what is the craziest thing that happened to you when you went out on a date? The craziest thing. I get turned off pretty quick. So it was Have like, you ever what? had to walk out and leave him sitting there? Oh, let me tell y'all about this story. <laughs> okay, so me and this guy, we went to a restaurant. Okay. He okay, so me personally, I just feel like if you ask me to go to a restaurant, you're gonna pay for the food, you gonna tip. Okay, he got mad at me and walked out and left the bill there for me because what? he didn't wanna tilt. He wanted me to tilt. Okay, it wasn't no pressure on that because I, I mean, I could have paid for me and him both. You know what I'm saying? Into, but I just feel like you asked me to go on a date. What you say when a nigga left like that? The nigga got up and left. He said, he said, huh? You pay for yours. I'm gone. And left me at the table. I said, I know this. Have you seen him anymore? I ain't never seen him. What? I said, okay, that's cool. So he was like, you you act like you couldn't pay for the, um, it took the, first of all, you asked me to go on a date. <laughs> I was confused. What you, th- what you think about that, Miss Jamaica? That's just crazy that he got up and walked out. He walked out. I looked up, he was gone. I was like, Whoa. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask this. Was this your first date, second date, third date? What is this? This was my first date with him. Oh no! But I just felt like you acting like a little boy. Like, come on now, you could have took. You asked me to go out. You could have paid for the food and took. Normally, first date, he normally should have just go ahead and paid for the whole My thing. My point exactly. So I'm like, and it's like, not really. If that wasn't an agreement, if y'all said y'all was going Dutch, did you tell ain't him? Nobody, that? Ain't ain't nobody, nobody said going, that. I guarantee you. No, he should have paid. He wanted me to go out. Like you wasting my time. I could have been somewhere else. With somebody else. With somebody else. Period. Whatever. It's easy for a woman to get a man because they'll do, they'll use y'all up in a minute. So yeah, that's cool. They don't yeah, have to yeah. come play with me. Period. So what is what what is the 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 end game? I mean, do you want to have a, a husband and come home to him? I definitely every day? want a husband. I definitely want to come home with somebody. But right now, <laughs> the world we live in, that's kind of hard. I don't know what's going on in a lot of Georgia, but. Oof. Why do you keep picking the men that's crazy in Atlanta? I'm definitely not trying to. Pick Maybe those. you let the right one already slip away. Hey! You might have away. Did you ever look back at any of your relationships and be like, man, I let Ooh, him go? I ain't even looking back. I'm looking forward. <laughs> I ain't backtracking now. So, so what do you expect I'm, to see? It? I'm just waiting on the Lord to bless me. Okay? Hey! I'm that's just, it. I ain't no need to go looking. He, gonna he might not be there when you want him, but he always right on what? Time. Hey! He's definitely coming. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so I, I just wanted to sit down with you before we go to this show tomorrow. People are going to see you on uh, this exclusive that uh, Boss Talk is uh, doing. Uh, shout out to Coop, uh, my boy, who be doing all that. We doing a whole thing, so you will be on that. And we're going to be just flexing out here, doing our thing, looking at the clothes, coming up with, up with some what's going on in the market today. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, um, thank you. See, that didn't hurt that bad. No, Thank you. Hurt. And I know tomorrow you're going to come back time. after you go to the show. Yeah, you're going to come back do on a podcast. it, right? You need to get out of it. Yeah, so after you do see the show tomorrow, will you come back and explain to the people what you've seen so we can give it to our listeners? I'll so we'll back. do a part one and a part two. We'll do a part one uh, uh, on this, and then tomorrow after you see the show, we'll come back and do a part two. Does that sound cool? That's cool. And we're going to find our man tomorrow, guys. Her man. Uh, uh, I'm real. trying to find me a white man, okay? What the? F- Have you ever been with a white man? Oh, in um, high the? school, a white dude. I ain't say white. So what man. did you like? So what did you like about um, a white dude? They okay. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't the best, but they okay. They cool. So why you want one now then? Because I'm tired of black vote. Oh damn! <laughs> you know there are other races. I know, right? 
That you know what? what you might want a Shout Japanese out to Michael one, Jackson and R.I.P. at the same time when he said it don't matter if you're black, <laughs> black or white. white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my boy, man. So thank you, uh, Jazz. I can't wait till tomorrow to see what you think about the show, to see if you, you know, what you like about the show. We're going to come back on here. We're going to talk. We're going to just tell the people, you know, this is what's over there. This is what's going down, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment. A boss talk 101 where the bosses talk and we are no we not this ain't nothing but some boss talk if i said it and i stand on them shooters on my side that's on command home ain't nothing but some boss